Good morning, everyone. I am Paolo Lai, owner of Ale Bekeri Restaurant. We are here today in Treviso, in the birthplace of this wonderful dessert at the Buranelli, a glimpse of Treviso that tells a little bit of that history of this city. The story of tiramisu was born in Ale Bekeri Restaurant, where then Mrs. Alba Campeol, thinking of reinterpreting a dessert from traditions, evolved it by adding the thought of mascarpone. Her mother-in-law, owner and proprietor of Ale Bekeri Restaurant, had given her as an reconstituent after childbirth Savoyardo, combined with coffee, sugar and egg, the famous Battutino Duovo, which was nothing but a beaten egg with the addition of sugar and cocoa. It was then that, from a thought of this, she reworked it by adding mascarpone until bringing in the end of the early 70s this dessert inside the restaurant and placed it on the menu. Today, the Becchieri chefs, Beatrice Simonetti and Emanuele Gobo, will illustrate the traditional recipe and they will do so, comparing it to some of the most popular videos on the web. Good morning, I am Manuel Gobo. Hello, I am Beatrice Simonetti. Today we're going to see together how to make Beccheri tiramisu, and at the same time we're going to look at some videos among the most viewed ones on the web, where mistakes have been made, and we're going to evaluate them together. The first one is by Joshua Weissman. Okay, let's do that, shall we? The second one by Gennaro Contaldo. Hi, lovely people, here I am in Italy. The third one by the Italian, Davy Cinquecento Quattro. Very beautiful, isn't it? The cream will need eggs, sugar, and mascarpone. Let's not forget coffee, strictly brewed in mocha, cocoa, and ladyfingers. These are the ones we generally use in restaurants. A cookie factory in Treviso makes them for us, and they use a mold. This gives them a slightly higher structure that is more suitable for the construction of the cake. Now we're going to make the cream for the tiramisu, but first we give kudos to Joshua, who is the only one who made the ladyfingers. So great, they were really nice and thick. Now let's start with the cream, which is a very simple cream. However, you have to be careful about some basic details. We start by whipping the yolks and sugar. At maximum speed. This cream will have to whip very well because this was one of the main mistakes we saw in the videos. Exactly. Both Davy and Contaldo whipped their egg and sugar cream very poorly, which is why they got a very, very soft mixture. 300 milliliters of cream. Let's put them all inside. To these ingredients, we will not add any cream or egg whites. Why? Because by whipping our ingredients well, we will be able to add the perfect creaminess for our cream. It would be like adding cream in carbonara. If you have a good technique, you get a good result. That's it. We have finally reached the right consistency. Well, at this point, we are going to incorporate and whip the mascarpone because one of the mistakes that all three made was not whipping the eggs and sugar together with the mascarpone. Some whipped it separately and then incorporated it, and some whipped it by hand just barely, not enough to get as much air into it. Epic. As you saw, I put in all the mascarpone. Now let's start slow with the stand mixer with speed and then go faster. It will take at least three minutes, but be careful not to split the cream. Otherwise, the fats and liquids will separate. Okay, here we go. This is the right creaminess. See? Consistent but fluffy. Now we're going to prepare the drizzle. Just coffee. Just mocha brewed coffee. We're adding the coffee only in the soaking liquid. Coffee and no other ingredients, because it would go to alter the taste, the balance of flavors. To that, you add a quarter cup or a 50 grams of granulated sugar, and I like to add a tiny little splash of maple syrup. Again, not traditional, but I do what I want, brother. Let's put about 100 milliliters of Vin Santo, and you can use some other liquors like sherry will do, marsala will do, sweet wine will do. So no alcohol, no honey, and no other flavorings. 
But if they want to put sugar, you can do it. What is important is to add less sugar into the cream. First, I made a thin layer of cream under the whole dessert in order to avoid the loss of coffee. Be careful that the lady fingers should not be too soggy as Contaldo did, otherwise the cake would turn out too soft. And if they're breaking, just start putting them in. One. That's gonna be good. As you see, I put the lady fingers very close together. I covered the whole surface of the cake to give more structure. If you do it like Joshua and put the cookies too far apart, you will end up with a cake that is too soft and without structure. Now let's make the first layer of cream. You see how the cream is soft, fluffy, but at the same time it has some structure, some thickness. This will help later when we go to cut the cake. I don't know if you noticed, but in the three videos the creams are all very liquid. They pour them, so it's not good. We have completely lost the texture and especially the creams are not aerios. If the cream is too soft at the end, you will end up with a really, really soft cake. As you can see now, I have placed the cookies at 90 degrees to how I placed them underneath. This again to give some structure to the cake. Uh, remember, they need to be really lightly soaked. Now let's make the last layer of cream. We finish by smoothing the surface of the cream. Well, we have finished our tiramisu. Now all that remains is to put it in the refrigerator overnight. Why one night to rest in the refrigerator and not three hours as Davy did, or not at all as Contaldo did? Eight hours is already a fair amount of time because if we wet our lady fingers just right, we need the non-wet part to be softened and give the right texture to the cake. While our dessert is resting, I wanted to remind you that inside the book by Italia Squisita, there is also the Ale Beccheri Tiramisu. And we are also in great company, together with master pastry chefs and Michelin chefs with their gourmet recipes. Perfect, our cake has rested and now we go to remove the ring and acetate. Last thing, let's put the cocoa. I recommend just before eating it, as our YouTubers did. Let's go and grate it, look. As you can see, the cake has some structure while still remaining soft. Whip the cream well and soak the lady fingers well and you will have this result and not soft or too liquid tiramisu as we have seen in some of the videos. And now the best part, let's taste it. Well, you have seen the Bekeri Tiramisu. Now all you have to do is try it at home and then visit us in Treviso. A big hello to our friends at Italia Squisita and to the great YouTubers featured in the videos we commented on today. Thank a presto. You. Tiramisu, it's a classic. I know the Italians are going to yelling at me, all right? I know you want one piece, all right, you deserved it. Open your mouth now, do it now. Well done. Oh, Leslie, this is really good.
I surprised myself. Arrivederci 